Well, good morning guys and welcome back to Winding and Racing. Today I'm back on Rally Bug. The last thing I did was the deck plate out of this aluminum diamond plate. And today I'm going to be making the back section here. Which if you saw my uh, video on the new brake that we got, I'm going to be using that today. Now, the back section, that brake is three feet wide. And ironically, this section back here is three feet from the corner to corner. So the first test on the new brake is going to be maxing it out. We'll see how well that works. Now I already brought out some aluminum here and I marked it here. I need 13 and a half inches right here to cover the back section here to the corner and all the way up to here. So I'm going to cut that rectangle out and then I got to match this curve and then we'll stick it in the brake and we'll see, uh, see how that does. Now other pieces that I do want to fabricate and I will have barely enough steel I think or steel aluminum is I'm going to be doing this section here. Basically we're going to make this all so it's enclosed. So I'm going to have a panel of aluminum right here. And this is the height that we're going to, which I marked right there and there. That's why we have this piece of steel here, straight edge. So I'm going to go ahead. First of all, I want to take care of this piece here. And uh, once I get that done, then hopefully I have enough to do the rest. I have this piece of diamond plate there. I'm going to, this is my three foot mark here. So I'm going to take it to here. I got to cut this out, do the curve stick it in the brake hopefully it'll bend this and then i have this much this will take care of the gas tank protection side of things and then i need to do from here to here right here and i'll basically just i'm going to put a little tabs here just bolt that there uh i will probably have to go to the metal store and get some more in order to do these sides here again i don't know what i will probably do is put a slight break to go here here like 245s to then bring it up and cover this and then we got the round tubing here now i do have the tubing roller coming so i will be able to fabricate this piece another piece i want to do out of aluminum will be a glove box i want to make a door here now you see the cage is in the way here so probably this will be fixed a couple inches over here and then this will be able to fold down like here i want to do that out of the same diamond plate and then as you can see there's no box so one uh thing that the the new brake's going to come in handy is actually making a bro uh the box out of some 20 gauge steel that we have there so got a few projects to take care of I'm going to get busy and do some work, and after I get a little further along, I'll bring you guys back, and uh, hopefully everything goes well today. I'll see you in a bit. Well, guys, what I did here was I uh, made a little template out of cardboard to make sure I get this card right, because I do not want to cut this aluminum. It goes there. Now, from the three-foot mark, you can see how it goes straight that ended up being about two and three eighths right there to that point there. And then I started my curve there. So I took it over to the aluminum. You see there's the two and three eighths there, started the curve there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that and see how that fits. And uh, let's get this done. Cut a curve you want, just a little bit of blade sticking down. So I'm going to actually change that a little bit.
Okay, let's take a look at this and see how she's gonna fit before I bend it. Now yeah, there's that little thing that I need to take out of there, but it looks like I'm gonna have to take a little bit out around in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and get that little piece cut out of there and uh, then we can slide it up into place and make this perfect curve. There's a little gap right up in there. But other than that, we're good and tight everywhere. The bend looks to be All right, that's where I wanted to be. That bends in a good spot there. Good spot there. We've got a tiny gap in there now. I plan on doing some trim work anyway, so I'm gonna leave it right there and put that bend in it and uh, we'll see how that works. Now, that bend has to come up, so I'll lay it into the brake right there. It would kind of be a bad thing to make the bend go the wrong direction. Let's see how this baby works. Bend backwards. You see right there, this is the edge of the bend right here. So I'm going to give it just a little bit of room there. Kind of hard to work this and hold the camera, but I guess we'll get the gist of it. Let's pull back just a little bit more. All right. Give this a shot. Hopefully nothing breaks. That is uh, kind of maxim maximizing. Might have to put a couple of pipes on there. Hmm. 
yeah, that is not not doing it. It might be a little thick there, guys. going to bend this. At least this is holding it flat.
Well, what we have found out is that this little sheet metal break isn't going to bend this diamond plate without a little help. I'm kind of in a place I'm going to have to do a little body work by using that uh, pry bar. But I did end up getting a bend in it, so let's, uh, let's see how this looks uh, in the car. Hopefully that's enough, because I don't want to do that again. Now we're going to have to go quite a bit more, actually. One thing the brake is accomplishing is it's keeping the bend straight, but uh, anyways, let's do a little bit more of this. All right, guys, I'm back. I uh, did a little body work on this, kind of by the pry bar bend, the pry bar that I had to use to, to do the bend because the brake just didn't handle it. Uh, ended up putting dents along the way, which gave it kind of warpage. So uh, took the old trusty hammer. You didn't have to, I didn't have to hit it that hard to, to knock the dents out but I got it nice and flat but I got some marks here and I'm gonna go ahead and mark these where I'm gonna put the uh, the self tapping screws in had to run to the had to run to the hardware store get that a couple of drill bits and uh, so I'm gonna get some work done here I want to get this uh, mounted today and get this video posted so you guys can see some progress uh, going on on rally bug it's been about a week since I worked on it. Had some other things I had to get done. So uh, let's uh, let's get this done. All righty. I'm gonna put on my sunglasses because this reflection is bright. So we got about three quarters of an inch on each side. Now I'm not going to shoot all these screws because I know I'm going to have to do a little work on this door to be able to get past that. This door fits real tight and uh, we're adding that 3 16 diamond plate to it. Uh, things aren't going to fit exactly so I have to do a little bit of work there. Let's see how she looks with a few screws in it. Well, hey guys, I'm back. Uh, 
apparently my camera got hot and it kind of uh stopped working on me so but i went ahead and i finished up this little project here you can see we got the back there all screwed down and i went ahead and i had to cut a little bit of the diamond plate there to, to have some clearance so that door can come up but oh i can't wait to get the rest of this finished up but i had to uh kind of quit working today and uh head down to the machine shop uh i got the call that uh the block for the c10 the ls block uh was in the boring machine and i wanted to get down there and do some videoing and uh kind of talk with uh, larry down there larry engine and marine about uh all that has to take place to get that motor uh, all ready to go into the c10 so i started out this morning and uh as you can see it was quite a wrestling match to get that break done and i uh, ended up putting some few dents in the uh in the aluminum and had to do a little body work with a good old hammer there and but uh all in all with all the struggles that uh, took place it uh came out looking good we got a little bit of i'm gonna do some trim work in here i don't know how i'm gonna uh wrap that aluminum i don't know with some uh some rubber or plastic edging here or even when it's all painted i think having a red line across there and there it's it's not gonna look bad so i'm gonna finish up things but uh i just ran out of time today uh but uh that one that was the that was the hardest job getting that one in there and found out about this uh this little machine here it's not really built for uh doing that diamond plate but it will work fine for for any sheet metal work i have to do which is plenty and i think anything diamond plate is extremely strong because uh you know it has the the solid portion of it is so that looks you know that's only about an eighth inch but when you add the ridges there uh it adds a lot of strength to it and it just didn't want to bend so it was uh quite a job but we got it done we got the panel made looks good it's all screwed in there doors functioning so uh we're in good shape glad that part of it's done Glad you guys watched the video and uh, like and subscribe to the channel. And I will uh, probably be back at it again in the morning. It's uh, it's hot. This is uh, a long summer. It, it usually stays hot in Tucson through September. We start cooling down in October, but uh, you know, it's about time for some cooler weather. The camera quit on me, and now I'm quitting. <laughs> you guys. You have a wonderful day and thanks a lot for watching.